So this is what I'm making for our lunch today. It's going to be a salad with chicken breast on it, really fast and easy and healthy. Um, we've got a grill here. It's a combination grill panini press. It's similar to a George Foreman grill. Really any kind of grill will do. You can also cook it on the stove top, but this is great because it's cooking from both sides at once, so that's what makes it so fast. Um, you want to be sure that you know your cooking time. With this one on high, it's 10 minutes of cooking. Um, and if you're not sure at first, use a meat thermometer because you want to be sure that you don't eat any undercooked chicken. Um, also optional, we're using the food processor for some of the vegetables because that makes it a lot faster. But there's also a knife and a cutting board which will work just as well. Um, I'm going to start by washing the greens so that they can be rinsing. So these are some mixed baby greens and they're in a bag that says that they're pre-washed. But it's really important to give them a rinse anyway, even if they say triple washed or whatever, because they've been in a closed plastic bag and that's where certain kinds of bacteria can really thrive. So go ahead and give them a rinse. And then I'll set these aside to drain. Okay. Then with the chicken breast, I put these in a simple marinade and that's completely optional too. Um, you can just take them out of the package, give them a rinse, pat them dry. And if you don't marinate them, do brush your grill with a little bit of oil just to be sure that they don't stick. So those are on, and I'll check the clock to see what the time is, and we'll go for 10 minutes there. For vegetables today, I just have some carrots and some radishes, and I'm going to wash them and give them a scrub but not peel, because as you probably know, a lot of great vitamins are in the peels of uh, many vegetables. So just be sure that they're clean, but leave the peel on. Since I'm making two salads, I grabbed two carrots, and I'm also going to grab um, just two radishes because these are really large. Normally they're smaller, in which case you might want to take three or four. I'll start by trimming these. And then if you're just cutting these, then slice these all really thinly. But to make it even easier, I put the grater plate on the food processor. And that's it. So now we can start to assemble the salad. And in this case, since the salad is the foundation of your meal, take a large bowl and fill it up with salad greens. Um, you can really uh, eat a lot of vegetable. You know, it's a lot of fiber, vitamins, minerals, not a lot of calories. So go ahead and fill yourself up on the vegetables. layering this on, the carrot, and then the radish is here underneath. I 
And the colors of fruits and vegetables can indicate what kinds of vitamins and minerals they contain. So it is a good guideline to think of trying to eat a rainbow and include as many different colors as you can so that you know you have a really good spread of vitamins and minerals. Another great thing to add to salad um, can be seeds because you get a little bit more protein, uh, nice complex carbohydrates, and then also healthy fats. Also optional is soaking your seeds ahead of time. You can put them in water the night before, soak them, drain them, and then put them in the refrigerator for that day. Optional, but what's great about it is that you um, make them a little bit easier to digest if they're soaked. And also, um, you can't really see it here, but there are a few seeds floating on top, and what that means is that they're, they've gone rancid. So if you even just put them in water for a few minutes before you use them, you can let the uh, older seeds float to the top, skim them off, and be sure you're not eating them. a tablespoon full of seeds for each salad, but quantities will vary depending on your size and the amount of training that you're doing, and we'll have more information about all that in the article. All right, and then we can also add some avocado to the salad, another great source of healthy fat, and it just helps to make your meal a little bit more calorically dense since all of the other vegetables are low in calories. This way you can uh, make it a little bit more substantial. So I cut it in half and then I'm gonna slice that down the middle to make quarters and then just cut it crosswise. And then it's easy enough to scoop out. So I'll put a quarter onto each salad. The chicken will be done in just a few more minutes, so lastly we can make a dressing for the salad. And dressing and marinade for the chicken, the recipes are really similar. It's oil, vinegar, maybe some dried herbs if you want, maybe mustard, sea salt. You can get creative, but to keep it simple, just oil and vinegar. And that's at about a two to one ratio. So I'll use a tablespoon measure. And we'll do two tablespoons of olive oil. And let's see if I can get this open. We'll do one tablespoon of vinegar. And this is apple cider vinegar. Balsamic vinegar is another one that we like to use. salad in a larger bowl and you might have some left over, then just keep the dressing on the side and then add it to the individual salads. That way you can store your salad and it won't get soggy or pickled because it's been essentially sitting in vinegar and oil. And the salad is completely made and we're still about two minutes away on the chicken so I even have time to do a little bit of cleanup. So time is up, we'll take the chicken. And protein is really where there's the most variability in terms of quantity that you want per meal 
depending on your size and your activity level. So I'm just going to slice this up between the two salads. And here it is. So you have a really healthy meal with very few dishes to wash in exactly 10 minutes.